Hi guys, I hope you are well. Welcome to another lesson in this YouTube series. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about today was order blocks and essentially what they are, where you can find them and what the purpose of them actually is. So to kind of clarify, an order block in its simplest form is the last down close candle or the last up close candle. What I mean by that is that you see all of these candles here. Now, blue on my chart means price is shifting higher. As you can see, this blue candle here is the last up candle, the last big buy move candle before price shifts in the opposite direction. So this is the last up close candle. A bearish example would be a small candle down here, the last down close candle before price moves higher. And in fact, if I look for a better one right here, the last down close candle before price moves higher. So it's firstly, just think about up candles, the last up candle and the last down candle before price moves higher. Now, this must be formed with a swing high or a swing low, which obviously makes sense because you want the last up or down close candle in that direction. Now, IPTA, which we spoke about at the start of this series, will refer back to these levels to mitigate into. So, for example, just using both here, I can just eyeball this. If you look at the last down close candle here, price comes all the way back in and offers some rejection. If you look over here at the last up close candle, price comes back into it, mitigates into it, and then drops to the downside as well. But if you want to go a level deeper and find higher probability order blocks, they are the ones that tend to have fair value gaps within them. So a really nice example would actually be this candle right here. This is the last up candle before price dumps to the downside. Now, it is worth noting and stating that this candle is not valid on its own as an order block until price has shifted to the downside. So if price was just to look like this here on its own, for example, this would be this would not be valid yet unless price shifted higher. So unless we had a shift higher in price and this was the last down close candle, that would then turn into an order block. But at this moment in time, that is not a valid order block. If we look inside of this candle, we engulfed the whole candle. You can see it right there. Now, I want you to look a little bit deeper towards the fact that the next wick, the next candle that opened created a wick, which basically left us with this fair value gap right here. Now, with the order block and being at a swing high and being engulfed to make it valid and having a fair value gap within it, that makes it a higher probable order block. And basically, it is, a, it is of higher probability that price is going to come back, rebalance and mitigate into to sell off to the downside. So essentially, this has the opportunity to present you with higher probable setups. I very rarely will look at an order block without, and unless, sorry, it has a fair value gap within it. You can see here, this had a, fair, a huge fair value gap within this one here. We had a small rejection. This order block right here had a, a fair value gap right there. You can see price never came back up to this order block right here because this is still an order block because it's created and been valid by this down close candle here. So you can see here, order block. Is it higher prob in probability? The answer would be no because there isn't really a fair value gap apart from this one down here. Now, the interesting thing is we can see that price has mitigated into the fair value gap, but not into the order block. Fair value gaps are magnets for price. This is going to be what we're going to focus more on, but the order blocks are also as important 
but basically we want the two to be accompanied together. If you can find them together or as close to each other as possible, this is going to serve you as more of a higher probability setup as opposed to a candle on its own, which essentially doesn't have the fair value gap beside it or even a little bit under it. And you can see there price comes back into it. Order block price comes back. It has the fair value gap into it. Okay. We don't come into the fair value gap, but we do mitigate into the order block and dump lower. We create another sell side order block here because that is the last up candle before price moves down. So we can see here now within this candle, we have a fair value gap, this candle and the fair value gap was mitigated into before creating another fair value gap here, which also had imbalance, which price came into and mitigated into and dropped to the downside targeting sell side liquidity. So price is always looking to do a couple of things. It's looking to seek areas of liquidity and rebalance into areas of inefficient price action, as we can see in this timeline of events that are happening right now. But we're utilizing order blocks, but we're actually going a step further and looking for the higher probable order blocks. They have to have the imbalance or the fair value gap, if you want to call it, within them. So this one that is being formed right now is the last up candle before price moves down. It is higher in probability because there is a fair value gap within it. So I would like to look for a setup that has potentially op uh, the entry here, the stop loss above the high and the target, the liquidity below. It would not be unlike price to come back in, rebalance into the fair value gap and mitigate into the order block and sell off towards that liquidity. What I would suggest is that you do a little bit of homework and you look for examples of bullish fair value gaps or bearish fair value gaps. If it's bullish, it's the last down candle before price moves higher. If it's bearish, it's the last up candle before price moves lower. Essentially, the most simplistic way to look for this is to look for the last down candle before price makes its move in the opposite direction or the last up candle before price makes its move in the opposite direction. So guys, hopefully you found this lesson insightful and I will see you all on the next one.